Albert Einstein, one of the most brilliant scholars in human history, once said, I know not with what weapons World War III will be fought, but World War IV will be fought with sticks and stones. He lived through the bloodiest wars of mankind, World War I and World War II. He deeply understood the loss and pain caused by war. In his later years, Einstein constantly feared another global conflict would occur. World War III, a war between the most powerful nations, would involve the use of nuclear weapons and push humanity to the brink of extinction. In the years after World War II ended, the seeds of World War III began to emerge. This was clearly seen in the Cold War between the US and the Soviet Union. That is the competition of China in a hegemonic position. The expansion of NATO towards the east led to Russian military action, and most recently, the unresolved 60-year-long conflict between Israel and Palestine has flared up again, attracting significant international attention. So, if World War III break out, what would happen to humanity? We will explore this in the video, don't skip. Why does war have to happen? Throughout human history, there have always been conflicts over interests between races, religions, and power. They compete for each other's influence and reach a point where negotiation are no longer possible, then war must occur. It also stems from the ambitions of some individuals. They drag others into battles to satisfy their goals. Throughout the length of human history, the sound of bombs and gunfire has never ceased until today. Somewhere in the world, wars are breaking out causing damage to infrastructure, economy, especially human lives. Although there have been many large-scale wars that have occurred from ancient times to the present, only two can be called world wars. They drew millions of people from dozens of countries into the spiral of war, leaving severe consequence, not only for individuals but also for the spirit of many generations. These were World War I, which occurred from 1914 to 1918, and World War II, which occurred from 1939 to 1945. Both wars were aimed at competing for and achieving global domination. World War I caused severe and devastating consequences. Approximately 1.5 billion people were drawn into this conflict. 10 million people died. More than 20 million people wounded. Asia's economies were exhausted. Many cities, villages, roads, bridges, factory was destroyed. By World War II, it was even more terrible. This is the bloodiest conflict in the history of mankind. It caused the loss of 70 to 80 million lives, with more civilian deaths than military personnel. Tens of millions of people were killed in genocidal massacres, dying from lack of food or disease. When this war ended, the US dropped two atomic bombs on the cities of Hiroshima and Nagasaki, killing tens of thousands of civilians. And the effects of radiation remained for many generations to come. Wars always bring pain to both the winning and losing side. After World War II, with the establishment of the United Nations and peace organizations, humanity will sit down and join hands to silence the guns. However, not long after, a Cold War broke out between the two largest superpowers, the Soviet Union and the United States. It was not as intense as the two previous world wars, but it was a powerful arms race and proxy wars between these two countries in other regions of the world. It was the time of the Korean War and especially the Vietnam War. It has caused suffering to many people, not only in these two countries, but also in many countries around the world. And people are always afraid that the seeds of World War III will break out. The strain reached limit with the Cuban Missile Crisis. In 1962, the Cold War was at its peak. The two superpowers, the Soviet Union and the US, engaged in a nuclear arms race, a terrifying weapon capable of destroying the world. The cause was the U.S. had built many military bases around the Soviet Union in Europe, located in many countries such as England, Italy, and Turkey. From these positions, missiles could be launched toward to Moscow, the capital of Russia, and many other important cities. In retaliation for this threat, the Soviet Union brought a series of missiles carrying nuclear warheads to Cuba. After the Cuban Revolution achieved victory in 1959, the country followed the path of socialism. The U.S. viewed this as a hostile act and severed diplomatic relations with this Latin American country. In the early morning of September 14, 1962, a U.S. reconnaissance aircraft discovered the first signs of the presence of a Soviet medium-range missile base in Havana. According to calculations by experts, if war broke out, within five minutes the U.S. would have eight million deaths. 
Simultaneously missiles in Europe were ready to aim at Moscow and surrounding areas. The world was holding its breath at the possibility of nuclear war, as Albert Einstein once said. If World War III breaks out, nuclear weapons will be widely used. The world will become ashes, and humanity will return to the Stone Age. Fortunately, that didn't happen. The leaders of the U.S. and the Soviet Union agreed to withdraw the missiles and resolve everything through peaceful negotiations. At this moment, humanity breathed a sigh of relief. The world also avoided full-scale wars afterward. But the risk of a World War III never disappears. Why is that? It's because the conflict between the West and the East never ended, with Western countries led by the U.S. always wanting to control the world and place everything under their control. Naturally, other powers such as Russia, the successor of the former Soviet Union, and China, a rising dragon in Asia, will never accept that scenario. Many small battles around the world could escalate into a world war. The first hotspot could be the countries caught between Russia and the West. These are a series of Eastern European countries such as Ukraine, Lithuania, Latvia, Belarus, Estonia, and Finland in Northern Europe. This will be the battlefield where clashes between the U.S. and Russia allies will occur. Most of these countries have joined the NATO organization led by the U.S. And of course, Russia can't keep calm when their borders are threatened. War has already broken out in this region, and it's difficult to predict how far it will spread. The second potential battlefield is the Middle East. This region has long been a problem of religious conflicts between Christianity, Islam, and Judaism. With the main focus is the relationship between Israel and Palestine. The root cause dates back to 1948, when the West supported the establishment of the State of Israel. Primarily due to the desire of hundreds of thousands of Jews, exiles around the world, to return to their homeland, they wanted to have their own homeland, a recognized nation. After enduring bitterness and resentment for 1,000 years, the Jews finally got their wish. However, where they call their homeland is also the place where the Palestinians, a Muslim nation, have lived for centuries. They believe that the Jews have taken their land, especially the sacred city of Jerusalem, which is revered by many religions. The recent conflict between Hamas and Israel has shown that this issue is very difficult to resolve. Thousands of civilians have shed blood, and violence is escalating. The third potential battlefield is the Asia-Pacific region, involving the emerging superpower China. The U.S. fears that this dragon will threaten its dominant position, so it has sought ways to encircle and contain China, a series of allies such as Japan, South Korea, Taiwan, and Philippines. However, China will certainly want to break this encirclement and extend its influence worldwide. They are even aiming to remote regions such as Africa and Latin America, which are considered the backyard of the West and the U.S. Soon in the future, these two rivals will engage in a fierce battle. And the risk of a World War III is looming. The U.S. has greatly benefited from the two bloody world wars in the 20th century. They were far from the main battlefields in Europe and Asia. Their country wasn't ravaged by war, and moreover, the U.S. earns a lot of money from selling weapons to the warring parties. The war caused many talented scientists to migrate to the U.S. to escape, and they contributed to the building of a powerful nation like it today. However, if World War III occurs, perhaps the American people will smell gunpowder right outside their doorstep. Russia and China are joining forces and exerting influence in America's backyard in Latin America. The soft power of the U.S., such as petrodollars, economic and military cooperation with allies, is being undermined by Russia and China. Will a three-way power struggle happen in the future, or will Russia and China join forces to overthrow the hegemony of the U.S.? Recently. Russian Security Council Deputy Chairman and former President Dmitry Medvedev warned that a World War III would break out if the West doesn't abandon hostile attitude. An interesting question raised is: If World War III breaks out, where would be the safest place? There are several options, and most of them are in remote locations and island. Firstly, there are remote Northern European countries, which are geographically distant from major powers that could bring the dangers of a global conflict, such as the U.S., North Korea, Russia, and Iran. Similarly, in the Northern Hemisphere, there is New Zealand, a secluded island with abundant resources and the ability to sustain life in case of isolation. Additionally, Switzerland, Iceland, and some other Northern European countries can be mentioned. 
However, because Europe has always been the main theater of both World War I and World War II, it's also difficult to ensure absolute safety in this region. Ultimately, no one wants war to occur, because it represents the worst scenario in human history, with millions of families being displaced and the physical and psychological consequences being extremely severe. There would be no true winners, because the price to be paid is too high. The world is holding its breath, and the future will provide the answer. But humanity still hopes that World War III will never happen. Thank you for watching the video. I am Honey Badger. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel to receive the latest videos. Now, goodbye and see you in the next videos.